Located in the northwest region of Nairobi, Nakuru is one of the most accessible cities in Kenya from just about anywhere. This is a town that is agriculturally endowed with various tourist attractions such as wildlife, craters and lakes. Nakuru was established in 1900 when the construction of the railway opened up access to the surrounding lavish, attracting hundreds of white settlers in the region. Agriculture, manufacturing, and tourism are the backbones of the economy of Nakuru. Main crops include coffee, wheat, barley, maize, beans, and potatoes. Dairy farming is also a key economic activity. But all that glitters is not gold. Deep in the outskirts of Nakuru lies Wamurogi, a slum with a population of approximately 3,000 people. A slum is a squalid and overcrowded urban street or district inhabited by very poor people. The growth of slums is expected to have a major consequence in both humans and the environment, which are inextricably linked. Factors influencing growth of slums and poverty include location choice factors, rural to urban migration, poor urban governance, and ill-designed policies. However, from a spiritual perspective, Dr. Oracle reveals on his book, The 21 Hidden Curses You Must Break, that poverty is living under the curse of lack, bondage of financial strain, and struggle to be what God intends you to be, ranging from chronic poverty, transient poverty, geographical poverty, absolute poverty, mental poverty, and many more. As Jabez cried to God for a change of his circumstances in First Chronicles 4.10, life unbearable comes to bring this hope through its executive producer, Dr. Oracle. Welcome to another wonderful, amazing episode of Life Unbearable right here on Oracle Television Network. My name is Masi Munai, and of course, when you see me here, you know we are about transforming lives. We are about impacting. We are about impacting not even just a generation, but posterity. So a very warm welcome to you. Today, I'm so excited because this is going to be an amazing episode, I promise you. The Bible says, give, and it shall come back to you in a good manner pressed down, shaken together, running over. And so when you partner with us, I am here to promise you that the word of God, God is not a liar that he should lie. Let every man be a liar and God be true. Partnering with us is a way of investing in the kingdom. So if you want to partner with us by being a sponsor, by being a donor, this is an opportunity for you. We are welcoming you. Come and stretch forth your hand to see to it that our family it to see to it that a family you know does not sleep hungry so today we are going to be meeting a lot of wonderful ladies that i came to a Muloki area to meet and of course before even i tell you about them i want you to know that nakuru is a very wonderful place but part of the sad news is that a lot of people are living in abject poverty i tell you this is so sad you see a research by world bank i was just uh, researching the other day showed that 1.7 billion people 
1.7 billion people are living in abject poverty. Imagine, that is so, so sad that somebody somewhere in the world is sleeping hungry. Somebody somewhere is living hand to mouth. They don't know if they take breakfast, they don't know what they're going to eat for lunch. If they take lunch, they don't know if they're going to eat for uh, eat supper. Or rather, if they take today food, they don't know what they will eat tomorrow. Can you imagine there's somebody who is living in that kind of life right there where you are? It is so, so sad. But you know what? There is a way that you can partner with us and ensure that somebody gets food on their table. You don't have to go far. We are right here with you. Of course, the numbers are running right there or right there on the screen. If you want to send in your contribution, you can send in your contribution and partner with us just to see that you are are you not benefiting the kingdom by being a blessing to the people that are in need? So today I'm in Wamuroki area. So you can hear me in I am in free area Nakuru. So this is a place where a lot of people are in poverty, and as you can see, most of the houses are just mud houses. Some are just semi mud. Ikona simiti kidogo na matope kidogo. Rent here is just from 300 to 1,000. Ayezi pita hapo. You can imagine that, and there's somebody who cannot even afford to pay that kind of rent. Here people just survive by the grace of God. Some sleep with no food. Some sleep with no water. They just survive like that. And they are here. Your neighbor your neighbor next door is there suffering and you're right there watching. Please take some action. So here in Nakuru uh, Wamurogi area is just one of the places where we is uh, we have a lot of uh, it, it actually it's a slum area and of course here a lot of people are just surviving most of them don't have jobs even youths here they don't have jobs in fact I was just talking to a leader in Nakuru County and, and they were, he was telling me that five out of you know one out of five people in this area is you know if you just meet a group of five five people in this area it is only one who has a job the rest don't have jobs i was talking to one of the interviewers in this show and they were telling me they are disturbed by police here because a lot of crime is taking place in this place people are coming here to hide people are coming a lot of idlers are just here that's why crime is on the rise rape is on the rise a lot of bad things are happening in this place so we are just here to come and speak hope to these people we are just here to encourage them we're just here to give them hope that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Of course, Nakuru is one of the beautiful places. We just upgraded to be a city just the other day. We thank God for this wonderful, wonderful promotion. And of course, as being a city, it means that the gap between the poor and the rich is becoming bigger and bigger every day. Can you imagine one of the reasons why, uh, you know, why uh, poverty is on the rise? It is because of urbanization. And you see, when the status of a city rise, it means that a lot of people are running from the rural areas just to come to the city to find a means of living. So when they come to the city and they cannot afford that kind of lifestyle or they cannot afford that kind of life, it pushes them to come and stay in a place where they can afford, to a place where they can afford housing. And that is how slums are growing. That is how a slum like Kibera grew to be what it is today. So this slum here, we have a lot of people who are living here. Children, mothers, fathers are just here surviving by the grace of God. So we just want to ask you to be a part of this wonderful, amazing program and just minister to their lives by contributing, by being a sponsor. If you are a company, probably you are watching or you are a CEO of your company, you can bring in your merchandise. Let her hear Mchele, let her hear Unga, let her hear nyanya whatever it is and of course we will be taking it to these people right here and of course on this first episode i'll just be going to their houses just hearing from them how they are living how they are surviving how life is going on and then on part two of this episode they will be meeting with a man of god dr oracle who will be praying to them who will be ministering to them and providing for their various needs you see on the on the previous episode how it was wonderful how charles was ministered to how beatrice mama sophie they were all minister to and they really enjoyed in fact today uh, Charles was just calling me and telling me Marcy I cannot believe my rent has been cleared the man of God did that for him and he was so happy so we just want to be a blessing to your life you know it is only when you give that you can truly live it is only when you open your hand to give that other blessings can come to you the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver so if you want to start living 
if you want to break the cycle of poverty in your family, if you want to break that cycle of stagnation, if you want to break that cycle of limitation, financial limitation in your life, this is the opportunity for you by partnering with this program and saying, by covenant of sacrifice, I attach or I connect to this program by decreeing and declaring under the grace of our Father, Dr. Oracle, that I'm breaking poverty in my life. Join me as we get into the wonderful episode of today as I meet Ruth, as I meet Naomi, as I meet Priscilla, and as I meet all these ladies who will be sharing their stories with us. Tueleze majina yako? Naito Naomi. Naomi Gather. Naomi Gather. Okay, Naomi. Unaishi wapi? Unaishi hapa Soweto. Hapa Soweto. Hapa ni Wamurogi. Hapa ni Wamurogi. Ulianza kuishi hapa mwaka gani? Nimeka. Miaka kama ngapi? Hapa siwezi kusa miaka kama tano. Miaka kama tano. Maisha hapa iko aji? Maisha iko lingumu. Niko mungana tu. So, Naomi, wewe ulizaliwa hapa? Umeishi, wazazo wako pia waliishi huko? Wazazo wako umeishi huko. Wakaruba kama huko wakana laneti. So, maisha ilikuwa aji mkiwa na wazazi? Maisha pia ilikuwa ngumu. Mulikuwa mnapitia changa moto gani? Changa moto za kupika na kuni nje na wazazi. Na bado ndizo tunendelea tapia na saizi. Ok. Ok. Kupika kuni nje na wazazi. Kupika na kuni nje na wazazi. Na bado na mipia bado sayi napikia tu nje na kuni. Ato yu napikia nje. Bado ujepata kagasi. Bado ujepata kagasi. Aya, sawa, sawa. Kwa hivu ulisomea wapi? Ulisomea discovery. Discovery iko wapi? Iko wapa tuju. Mlima. O mlima. Alafu bada ya kumaliza primary, ulienda secondary? Siku enda secondary, hata primary, nilisoma mbaka class 2. Kwa nini? Juu. Ulikuwa tu nivo. Maisha ilikuwa tu. Maisha ilikuwa ningomu. Pesa ama nini? Pesa ya kukua pesa. So, ukaachia class 2. So, wakatuliachia class 2, ukaenda wapi? Kanza kuzungu katu hivyo. Kuhasol hasol. Kuhasol hasol. Na ukaminyambia ukaanza kufanya mabiashara biashara. Ya nikaanza kufanya biashara biashara. Kwa hivyo hii biashara ili kusaidia ama bado ije kusaidia? Ilikuwa ina nisaidia. Mkiuza melo nikuwa nasaidika. Kwa hivyo umikuwa ukuza tu melo. Nikuwa nauza melo nasaidika na lipa nyumba inyewe. Nalea watoto. Nisha ikakua mzuri nikarudi tena nikasimama yu kazi pia ulezi. Kwa hivyo wakati sasa ulimaliza class 2, ukeenda, sasa hizo unajua uwezi fanya kazi, bado weni mtoto mdogo. Uliko unafanya nini? Uliko unakatu home? Nikuwa tunakatu home. Ok. So wakati ulitoka home do ukaolewa ama ulifanya aje? Ehe. So maisha ilikuwa aje? Maisha ilikuwa ngumu hata ya kuolewa mzee alikuwa ameishi kunipiga na watoto kwa nyumba. Na kabla uolewa ukuona kama huyu mtu ni wa kupiga watu. Siku msikuwa nimemsoma. Ehe. Kwa hivyo ndoa ikaharibika. Ndoa ikaharibika. Ehe. Na uliamua kutoka kama ni yeye alienda. Ni mimi niliamua nimuondoke. Mhm. Uliona utawezana? Eh niliona ataniua. Ehe. Alikuwa anafanya nini yu kaona, ya hapa sitaweza. Ya, vita. Na nini hizo? Kunipiga kama wanaume, hameenda kazi ya kifika juni, anasema ana mbaka pesa watura ya chakula. Na mimi ndiyo naangaika na watoto na tinikona buwana kwa nyumba. Nikaona yu maisha ni ngumu sitaweza. Kwa hivyo, ukamua, ufadhali nikai singo. Ya, ufadhali nikai singo na watoto wangu. Maisha iku waje sasa saizu kiwa singo. Nikiwa singo? Maisha bado ni ngumu lakini tu ni kungengana. Watoto wako wakona miaka ngapi? Wakwanza ni watu five. Wapili ni watu eight. So ni wawili tu? Ya, ni wawili. Wanasomea wapi? Lion Hill. Oh, Lion Hill. Lion Hill iko tu hapa? Ya, iko hapa. Ok. So maisha hapa wa Murogi iko aje? Maisha hapa wa Murogi ni ngumu. Ni kungengana tu. Nini nafanya maisha hapa ikuwe ngumu? Nini nafanya maisha hapa inakuwa ngumu? Hapa ni ngumu juu. Na saa zile tukua tumekaa tu hivi. Na shindu wata ni unakaa kikuwa mekaya hivyo tu. Disparent. Kushinda tu hivyo mtani unashindu wa. Unaamuo kienda hivi, unaingia chachoro zingine, unajikuto menda kukunyo. Kwa hivyo, hata wea unakazi saizi? Sina kazi. Ok. So ni vibarua vibarua tu unafanya? Ni vibarua vibarua tu. Halibanya ni mepata hapa kuitua ni fuwe nguo, kibarua ni kipate. Isani kikosa. Ok. 
Kwa hivyo nini ungependa ibadilike kwa maisha yako ukikutana na mtumishi wa Mungu mwenye anataka kukusaidia nini ungependa ibadilike? Ningetaka maisha yangu ibadilike kama nini? Niache <laughs> kukaa hivi nyenye nakaa. Ehe. Mm. Sasa unajua mms, kuna msaada aina mingi. Mm. Sasa ungependa nini haswa? Mm. So ni nini umaipitia kwa maisha yenye ilikuwa ngumu sana yenye unasema utawaifahau? <laughs> Hmm? Nini ushaipitia kwa maisha yenye ilikuwa ngumu sana? Yeye unasema hii sitawaisahau. Kwa maisha? Mm. Ni hiyo ya vita. Mm-hmm. Mm. Kwa hiyo ndoa. E, kwa hiyo ndoa. Ni hiyo ya vita. Jo alikuwa ananipiga na nivunja basi amevu. Eh. Mm. Hey, pole. Mm. Au ku report hiyo mambo. Hey, Nilijaribu kukimbizana na yeye. Nikaona sisaidiki. Eh. Mm. Okay. All right. Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo ile ni kamera yako. Nataka mm. uongee na hiyo kamera. Mm. Uh, useme na mtu ambaye anakutazama wengine mm. kuna watu wengine pia wanapitia hata ile mbaya kuliko yako ni kweli wengine wanalala njaa mm. wengine hata wanahangaika hata kukuliko ni kweli ungependa kuambia nini mm. ungependa kuambia nini nikisema kama hadi ni ungependa kuatia moyo uambiaje eh Ningependa kuatia moyo niwaambie tu mm-hmm. kunikongengana tu na live. Eh. Mm. Nikongengana. Wasikate mm-hmm. tamaa. Wasikate tamaa nikongengana tu na live. Eh. Mm. Okay now. Mm. Asante. Ah. Life indeed is unbearable in this place. As I meet with Ruth, a young lady that has survived selling illicit brew, commonly known as busa, but later switched jobs, I am short of nothing but amazed. Tueleze majina yako. Mimi ni Ruth Wanja. Ruth Wanja. Yes. Ulizaliwa wapi Ruth? Nizaliwa huko Nakuru. Nakuru. Yeah. Wapi eneo gani? Free area. Free area. Yeah. Yeah, hizo time free area ilikuwa inakaaje? <laughs> Yo time free ile ilikuwa na kama vizuri si kama sasa hivi kumebadilika. Eh. Eh. Oh, sasa hivi naona kume watu wamekuwa wengi sana huko. Sana si kama kitambo. Eh. Eh. Ulikuwa unasomea wapi hiyo time? Nilikuwa nasomea Lion Hill. Eh. 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 Na ulikuwa na brothers na masisters. Eh. 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 Sasa wako wapi sasa hivi? Bado wako tu kuna kuru. Eh. 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 Wanafanya nini? Wanafanya biashara. Mhm. Eh. Okay. Na wewe sasa maisha imekuaje tangu sasa utotoni? Maisha ilikuwa ngumu sana si kama wakati nilikuwa tunalelewa na wazazi wetu. Mhm. Eh. Mhm. Ukilelewa na wazazi ilikuaje? Ilikuwa chip kiasi. Ehe. Eh. Okay. Wazazi wote wako? Niko na mmoja, mmoja tu. Eh. Wa mwingine alifariki? Eh. Ni baba ama mama? Baba, mama. Mhm. Eh. Mama ndo alifariki. Eh. Okay so baba ndo akabaki. Eh. All right. So wakati mlibaki na baba mlikuwa mnafanya maisha ilikuwaaje? Umelose mama umebaki peke yako? Maisha ilikuwa ngumu. Jo mm. kuna vitu vingine wewe ziambia baba. Eh. Eh. Aha. Kwa hivyo sasa ilibidi uji 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 sort tu. Eh. Eh. Mm. So wakati huo ulikuwa class. Ama kigufa nilikuwa nimefanya 8. Eh. Eh. Mm. All right. Mm. So after class hii tuliendaje? siku ndelea na masomo. Mm-hmm. Eh. So ukaamua kuingia kwa biashara. Eh. Okay. Ulifanya mabiashara kama gani? Biashara yenyewe nilifanya nilifanya kuza busa. Mhm. Eh. Wewe ndio ulikuwa unatengeneza mwenyewe. Eh. Okay. Ulifunzwa na mama, mama ni dada alikufunza kutengeneza. Mama alikuwa anapika watu akishi huko. Eh. Eh. Oh, so mkiwa wadogo ndo alikuwa anapika busa. Eh. Okay. Na mkiwa muna mnaonja onja. Hapana. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa ulijuaje kupika? Nilikuwa naona venye anapika. Eh. So biashara hiyo ilikuwaje ya busa? Eh, ilikuwa ngumu kiasi. Eh. Ndio nikaacha. Eh. Eh. Okay. Ni chang, ni nini changamoto gani ulikuwa unapitia kwa hiyo kazi? Eh, ilikuwa ngumu ya maskari. Mm. Au mm. mnafuatwa. Mm. Eh. Mm. Alafu nikarudi nikaachana na hiyo biashara eh Ngea kwa biashara ya, ya kulimia wa mama eh na kuwafulia mangu eh, eh. all right na hiyo biashara bado unaendelea nayo eh bado unaendelea hiyo biashara hiyo biashara bado unaendelea nayo eh, ya kufua mangu na kulimia eh. watu wakinichia vibarua vibarua okay mm. so uh, saizi umeolewa ama umeolewa nimeolewa eh mm. okay ni ndoa yako ya kwanza ama ya pili 
Sema ni ya pili. Eh. Mm. Ya kwanza iliendaje? Eh, ya kwanza maisha ilikuwa ngumu. Mhm. Eh. Kulikuaje? Kwanza tani nilikuwa nalala njaa. Mhm. Mzee akaenda kibarua kuji na pesa. Mhm. Anakuja akiwa mlevi. Mhm. Eh. Mhm. Mm so haikuwezekana, haikuwezekana. Lakini ulikuwa na watoto kwa hiyo ndoa. Eh. Eh. Mm. Wangapi? Wawili, watoto wawili. Eh. Mm. So ndo kukaendaje baka ukaingia kwa hii ndo wa ingine? Ibili nkatafuta wa maisha ingine. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. So ulifanya aje? Tulipata na tunajamatu. Mm. Hey. Mm -hmm. Kanambia kaneza kuwa bibi yake, nkambia mm. ni sawa. Mm. Hey. Ok. Mm. So ndo mkona yeye? Hey. Ok. Na sasa maisha ikuwaje saizi venye mnaishi? imesha simba ya vile na simu mm. zilitena vile tena sana mm. juu leo apate kesho wakose mm -hmm. eh mm. so wewe wow, unafanya nini kila siku nikitoa kibarua ninaenda nikikosa ninakaa mm. eh. okay eh. na ni changamoto gani sasa hizi mnapitia kwa maisha tuseme ni ngumu ya kulea hata watoto mm. sasa mara mimi naweza kuwa nimetoa kibarua pale nimeenda nimekosa mm. ninarudi niogojea mzee anakuja yenye kona ndo tunatumia mm -hmm. eh. Mhm. Mm kwa hivyo ni ile tu kukazana tu na hali. Mhm. Kukazana tu. Eh. Mm. Okay. Na sasa mandugu zako na madada zako wao wanakusaidia. Kila mtu akona kwa yake. Mm. Kila mtu akona familia. Mhm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Kwa hivyo kila mtu anajitegemea. Kila mtu anajitegemea. Eh. Mm. So nini nakupatia anga tumaini ya maisha Ruth? na nilea watoto siku na siku moja watakuja kunisaidia ehe eh. watakuja kuomoka mm. <laughs> kwa kuinue mm. okay watoto wako wanasomea wapi wanasomea leo ni hili oh shule yenye pia wewe ulisomea eh. wako miaka ngapi na ngapi nikona 16 mhm mm na nikona 14 ehe na wa 13 ehe eh, around 13 hapo na wengine kakona miaka karibu 8 around eh. 8 okay mm. Maisha hapa wa Murogi kwa aji? Mm, maisha hapa ni ngumu sana. Ehe. Mm. Watu wanaishi ngi aji? Mm, kwa watu wanaishi vibasi, vizuri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Saa zote mbio mbio. Mm. Mbio mbio ya nini sasa? Ya maaskari. Ehe. Mm. Sasa kwa nini askari wanawasumbua uki na mapolisi? Ehe. Kwa nini wanawasumbua? Kujia vijana kukua natabia mba mba ya uku. Mm -hmm. mm. Ok. Umesema pia watu wa wanajificha mm. uku. Wanajificha uku. Ehe. Mm. Na sasa watu huku wana, wanafanya kazi ama watu wengi hawana makazi. Watu wengi kwanza vijana hawana kazi huku. Eh. Mm. Eh. Sasa wewe unafurahia kukaa huku? Sifurahi kukaa huku. Eh. Mm. Nini ilikufanya ukuje wa Murogi? Nimevenya sana nimezaliwa huku na nimelelewa huku. Eh. Mm. Eh. So umejipata tu huko huku. Mm. Eh. Mm. Kwa hivyo ni nini kwa umaipitia kwa maisha yako yenye Ukikumbuka hivi unasema utawaisahau. Ni venye mama aliaga akaenda kaniacha. Mm. Mm. Nilipitia tabu. Ehe. Mm. Tabu kama gani? Nilikuwa nalala nja mm. before ni ni seto. Mm. Nilipitia. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. Na so size maisha unaona ikoaje? Kuna siku na bado unalala nja, saa zingine unakosa. Maisha ikoaje sasa hivi? Kongomu kiasi, mm. sikangia nyepesi, mm. mm. kungangana tu. Kungangana tu. Mm. Ok. Sawa sawa Ruta, asante sana. Pia toya asante. Aya. Aya. Ok. Later on, I meet up with Karo and I'm moved by her desire to know God and straighten her ways. Tueleze majina yako? Kwa majina yako ni Meli Kaluki. Mm. Mm. Meri umezali wa wapi? Umezali wa kuna kuru. Wapi? Hapa Murogi. Hapa Murogi. Eh. Maisha ilikuwa je ototoni? Mm. Maisha ototoni ilikuwa ngumu sana. Eh. Eh. Ilikuwa ngumu kivipi? Tukiwa watoto, mm. eh, yani nikiwa mimi si mtoto, mm. yani maisha yangu ilikuwa ya nikienda kwa kwa ba. Mm. Lazima nitaenda ninyaganye watu pesa mm. ndio nipate kitu ya kukula. Mm. Eh. ndo mliishe mkiwa wadogo. Eh. So ulisomea wapi? Mimi nilisomea Lion Hill. Mm. Eh. Okay. Eh. Lion Hill ni hapa tu wa Murogi. Mm. Okay. Mm. So na mandugu zako na madada wako wapi? 
kwa ndugu zangu na marada zangu wako hapa tu karibu ehe eh. wanakusaidia ehe jua hata ndugu zangu ha, ndugu yangu hana uwezo hivyo hata dada yangu ama dada zangu hawana uwezo ehe eh. so ulimalizia shule wapi nilimalizia class 7 class 7 ehe so after class 7 ukaenda wapi after class 7 mm nikaenda kukaa na baba yangu mhm eh. mama alikuwa wapi mama alikuwa ameshakufa tayari ehe eh. so mkakaa na baba eh. oh nini ilimua mam mama mama kitu nilimua ni tibi oh pole eh. so maisha ilikuwaje mkikaa na baba maisha ilikuwa ngumu eh Nji ilikuwa mimi lazima nitatoka nje eh juu baba yangu alikuwa ni mtu mlevi eh. lazima ndana nitafute ndio nikuje tufike ndio eh. tukule ehe eh. so ulikuwa unatafuta wapi ya kwa maklab bado ehe eh. sasa ulikuwa na miaka ngapi ya nilikuwa na miaka 15 15 mm. so wewe ulikuwa unaenda kwa mapo, kwa maklab kunyang'anya tu watu mm. ehe mm. so baada ya hapo baada ya hapo ndio nikakuja nikapatana na nikapatana na kijana mmoja eh so kijana kanipea mimba ya mtoto wangu msichana ehe eh. ehe eh. so ndo ukaamua kuolewa eh. okay eh. so maisha iko aje hii maisha ni ngumu bado mm. eh kuna ako na kazi a, a, bado ana kazi eh, eh. okay mm. so wa mnapata wapi chakula chakula lazima tuende tatue vibarua za kufua eh. na nipate chakula eh, eh. eh. okay eh. na sasa hizi vibarua pia yeye ni mtu wa kibarua tu hata yeye ni mtu wa kibarua eh, eh. eh. okay mm. sasa bado unaendaga kwa maklabu ku, ku kupora watu ama hiyo ilikuwa tu hizo siku ilikuwa hizo siku ehe saisi huwa siendi ehe ehe okay ehe. na sasa ni nini ungependa ibadilike kwa maisha yako naweza taka nibadilishie maisha yangu mm. na nianze na nianze kuenda kanisa ehe ehe oh asante ehe. ungependa at least u, ujue Mungu ehe ehe, ehe. na mzee wako atae pia ehe, ehe. okay ehe. So uh, kila siku maisha ukiamka asubuhi nini wewe mnafanya? Yaani hata mm. hata tukiamka asubuhi hata siwezi hata kuomba. Mhm. Jumu wangu anamkaa yani kama amefikiria tu ni kwenda tu shule. Mm. Eh. Sasa wewe unabaki tu home. Eh nabaki home. Eh. Mm. So kibaki wewe unafanya nini? Kama sina kibarua kufa nakaa nyumbani mkika. Eh. Kiongoje wewe mwingine atokewa saa saba. Eh. Eh. Okay. Mm. Na sasa hivyo ndo maisha iko kila siku. Ivo, eh. Okay. Eh. Ni sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo a uh, a uh, Mary Saizi unakana bwana yako hapa. So ni nini ukifanywa leo utafurahi sana? Mimi nape, mi napenda ukiweza nilipia nyumba na unizi, na unipea chakula itafurahia na ni na nianze kukuja kanisa ndio niweze kumjua Mungu. Asante. Na ungependa kuambia nini msichana mdogo mwenye anakutazama na pengine hata yeye anapitia changamoto ya maisha. Mimi naweza kumwambia asijaribu kudanganya na wao vijana wa sasa hivi. Juu maisha huku nje ni magumu sana. Mhm. Eh. Okay. Eh. Na ungependa kuambia nini wazazi? Nini umeona ni ngumu sana kwa hali ya kulea watoto? Eh. Yaani kama sasa hivi maisha ni ngumu sana juu kulea watoto lazima mtoto anataka asubuhi um, chai na maandazi wengine ametishwa pesa ya mtiani hauna ndio hao walio wamekuwa wagumu nao wamefukuza watoto Mhm Mhm mm Kwa hivyo ungependa kuambia nini wazazi? Mimi naambia wazazi wasikubali kuachilia wasichana wao. Mhm eh okay. Uh. Sawa sawa. So asante sana. Mm. Uh. My day ends with an interview with Priscilla, a young conservative lady who has hope that life will change for the better. Tueleze majina yako. Naitwa Priscilla Wezira Kihigi. Kihigi. Mm. Umetoka wapi Priscilla? Nimetoka Pilisi naitwa Maela Naivasha. Naivasha. Mm. Okay. Huko ndo ulizaliwa ama eh huko ndo nimezaliwa. Ehe. Mko mko wangapi familia ilikuwaje ndo kabla ukuje huko nakuru tuko eight mm. tu nikarudi nika nikaenda Nairobi mm -hmm. nikatoka Nairobi nikaenda Naivasha mm -hmm. sasa niko huko nakuru huko nakuru mm. Nairobi ulikuwa unafanya nini Nairobi nilikuwa nauza maji mm -hmm. kwa soko okay mm. biashara ya maji ilikuwaje iko mbaya ya yeah. mm. oh Haikuwa mbaya ndo kusema aje ilikuwa ilikuwa tu sawa ukipata tu 
mtoto wa kukula mm -hmm. na rent mm -hmm. hiyo tu iko sawa okay mm -hmm. Ah uh, labda nikurudishe nyuma kidogo. Uh, masomo ulisomea wapi? Nasomo nimesomea Maela. Mhm. Mm mm. Alafu nika nilijoin class 1 ngati primary school. Mhm. Mm Katoka hapo nitaingia secondary Maela Township secondary school. Mhm. Mm Sasa hapo ndo nilimalizia. Ulimalizia. Mm. Okay. Ulimalizia form 4, ulimalizia which grade? Ulimalizia form 2. Form 2. Mm. Kwa nini ulimalizia form 2? Ni issues 2. Mm -hmm. mm. Issues gani? Maybe school fees. Mm. Ego. Mm -hmm. mm. So, mazazi ya wakuwa na kazi ama shida ilikuwa nini? Ilikuwa tu ya issue 2 ya pesa 2. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, pesa school fees. Mm -hmm. mm. Mama yako alikuwa na kazi hapana. Mm -hmm. mm. Na ba, na baba pia yako na kazi. Mm -hmm. mm. Kwa hivyo ndo maana haukusoma mm. au kuweza kumaliza shule. Mm. Okay. Kwa hivyo baada ya kuuza maji ukafanya kazi gani nyingine? Nika nikakuja na Ivasha nikaolewa. Mhm. Mm Kaka for from 2018. Mm. 2020 mm -hmm. nika nikafanya kazi ya kuza simu mm -hmm. na mpesa na radio TV huko mm -hmm. tunaivasha mm -hmm. ndo nilikuja huku mwezi wa 8 huku wa Murogi huku na Kuru mm -hmm. nikuza mwezi wa 8 last year okay mm -hmm. so nini ilikufanya ukuje huku na Kuru tulihamia huko juu tulisema tuhamie huko tukuje huko tutafute kazi tunaweza fanya ehe mm -hmm. So wakati huo mlikuwa na nani na nani? Tulikuwa na mzee, mm -hmm. baba mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So baada ya kumaliza shule ndo uliolewa immediately hapa eh. baada ya kufanya kazi Nairobi. Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So maisha imekuwaje? Tusemi imekuwa ijakuwa tough. Mm -hmm. Ivo. Mhm. Mm Sasa nilikuwa nimeolewa but sasa ni tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So size venye uko uh, uko peke yako eh, ni changamoto gani ndo unapitia ndo unasema maisha ni tafu maybe kwa chakula rent hivyo mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sana ndo maisha naona ikuwa ngumu mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay na wakati sasa maisha venye unaona imekuwa hivi ngumu mm -hmm. Ni auna wazazi wako wako wapi mandugu zako hakuna mtu anataka kukusaidia wako mm. si sisi sema wananiachilia wako mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. na wako na makazi ama wanafanya nini wengine hawana mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay na wazazi hata wazazi wako down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay kwa hivyo maisha sasa hivi kwaje hapa kwenye unaishi Hapa kwenye naishi mesha ni ngumu. Mm. Na inabidi tu na nangana, mm -hmm. makaza tu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So ukiamka siku, asubui uh, kwa siku na siku ishe. Maisha ya ni kwa maisha ya kila siku. Uwa unaamka unafanya nini, alafu unafanya nini. Na amka ya saa zingine, nila mm. kibarua, saa zingine nakaa uku, tunashinda mm. uku. Mm. Ivo. Mm -hmm. mm. So kibarua kama gani, uwa unafanya? kufua wanafua mm. mm. kusoma msufuria mm. mm. okay na ni changamoto gani sasa hizi unapitia kwa maisha yenye tuseme sasa kushindwa kulipa rent mm. provide ya mtoto mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. okay na ungependa kusaidiwa kivipi ungependa kusaidiwa kama kulipiwa rent na mm. chakula mm na maybe if kama kazi mm -hmm. kama naweza pata kazi mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay ulikuwa umeniambia ulikuwa unafanya kazi ya melon hiyo mm -hmm. kazi ilikupelekaje hiyo kazi ilikuwa mbaya mhm mm mhm mm kwa ni kuja nikaacha juu ya mtoto mhm mm yeah alikuja mm -hmm. akaonjeka nikaacha mhm mm mm -hmm. okay so when you make a kaivi kwa nyumba nani anakulisha wewe na mtoto sasa una kazi uh, na mko na mtoto mdogo ehe 
Mimi tu mwenyewe na mwanana. Mhm. Mm. Unatoa wapi pesa? Atasema kienda kibarua siku moja 300. Mhm. Kwa kula mia siku mbili hivyo. Mm. Hivyo. Mhm. Mm. Okay. Kwa hivyo ni ungependa ibadilike kwa maisha yako. Ngisema tu nipate chakula mm. na nipwe rent na nipate kazi. Yaani mm. mali tunaweza jishikilia mm-hmm. tu mm-hmm. baada ya kukaa kwa nyumba. Mm. Mm. Okay, sawa sawa. Asante Priscilla. Well, I look forward to meeting Naomi, Ruth, Priscilla and Carol next week in church as they meet with Dr. Oracle and have a lifetime encounter that will change their lives. How about you? Who is your neighbor? Maybe as you sleep tonight you should think about it. Who is that one person that will say you are the channel that God used to bless them? Mm-hmm.